Now, the Tuscaloosa Chevrolet Sports Update with WVUA's Gary Harris. And I think the message here is uh, we've all kind of agreed as a team that uh, our record last year was pretty irrelevant, is pretty irrelevant to what we do this year. We won't have one thing to do with it. Um, so therefore, I think that San Jose's record last year will be totally irrelevant to um, what happens in this game as well. That's Nick Saban saying last year's records are irrelevant for both Alabama and San Jose State. Good evening, everybody. It's finally game week at the Capstone. The Crimson Tide will open the season on Saturday evening when they host San Jose. The Tide and the Spartans, well, they're a lot different. Bama enters 2010 after a national championship season. San Jose, meanwhile, comes in after a disappointing 2-10 and 10 campaign. The Tide is a nearly a 40-point favorite, but that doesn't mean that there aren't questions that need to be answered in regards to Alabama. Here's John Huddleston. Has Alabama found its identity? Have the players matured? Is there a leadership structure in place? Those are all questions that Coach Nick Saban hopes to find answers to in game one of the season. If hot peppers give you a bellyache, you can't figure it out until you eat hot peppers, I mean, is what I'm trying to say. What the coach was getting at is that there is only one way to find out how players will respond in a game, and that's to play one. You know, some guys play better when the game comes, and some guys who practice pretty well don't compete nearly as well. It's practically a given that Bamba will win Saturday. The only question there is by how much. But if San Jose State has a strength, it's the uncertainty of having a new coach with a new system. A little more difficult preparation because you're not sure about what they're going to do exactly. Having a coaching change, we uh, was kind of hard trying to find film on those guys, so uh, we kind of had to go back to you know the old teams that they coached before they got there. It lends itself to uh, defending a few ghosts, so to speak, and um, both ways, offense, defense, and special teams. There is one question, however, that the Tide will not find an answer for on the field and that's regarding the eligibility of defensive lineman Marcel Darius. We don't have any indication, all right, and I've said this before, so I don't know if we need to redefine the rules, but um, I got enough issues and problems to deal with without that answering hypothetical questions. Darius is being investigated by the NCAA for his part in an agent-sponsored party earlier this summer. One thing to remember, though, last season, it was not until the Wednesday before the Virginia Tech game that Julio Jones and Mark Ingram were in fact cleared by the NCAA. In Tuscaloosa, John Huddleston, WVUA Sports. Thank you, John. Practice this afternoon, the Tide in uh, full gear on this Monday afternoon. Nick Saban uh, instructing as always, working, coaching. Mark Barron missed practice on Saturday for personal reasons. Back on the field, he'll start at strong safety. More on the depth chart in a moment. Ari Kanjo, the big freshman tackle out of DeMatha High School in Maryland. He's running uh, second team at right tackle. And uh, congratulations to Chavis Williams. The senior has hung in here and just really made himself into football player. He's going to start. And of course, Greg McElroy is going to start, and he hopes to throw a lot of passes to Darius Hanks come Saturday night. Okay, here is the starting lineup based on the Alabama depth chart. The first one handed out to the media today. Offensive line, Carpenter, Warmack, Vallejos, Jones, and Fluker at right tackle. Michael Williams from Pickens County, the tight end, Preston Dial, the H-back. McElroy, the quarterback, Ingram, the running back, Julio Jones at wide receiver, and Marquise Mays and or Darius Hanks listed at the other wide out, both as starters. Of course, Alabama will do a lot of three wide receiver sets. On defense, Marcel Darius uh, listed as the starting defensive end. Don't know his status yet for Saturday. Josh Chapman's the nose tackle, Luther Davis the other DE. Chavis Williams will start at that Sam linebacker position. Dante Hightower will be the Mike, taking over the role played the last few years by Orlando McClain. Jarrell Harris moves inside and will start at the Will linebacker. Courtney Upshaw had a great fall, he'll be at the Jack. Daquan Menzi starting ahead of B.J. Scott at corner. Draker Patrick the other corner. Mark Barron the strong safety and sophomore, redshirt sophomore Robert Lester from Foley High School scheduled to start at free safety on Saturday evening. 